Hello, my name is Noor and this is Simplify Homeschool. So here's a little video review on a popular math curriculum called as Singapore Math. So this has been around for many years, at least more than 10-15 years. And this is an adaptation of a curriculum used in Singapore which had great results. So Singapore Math Company um, sells different edition of the same curriculum. So I think, I believe there are three main uh, editions they have the US edition the standards edition and the common core edition and I think the common core edition was made for one of the states I think probably California um, as a as a school curriculum um, this was a long time ago I did look into this in detail when my son was in kindergarten he's like in third grade now so I have forgotten most of the details around it but I know that on their website they have a detailed comparison between the three and you know you kind of to help you figure out which books to supplement them with what extra books you can buy and how do they compare with each other so I will link that okay so we ended up choosing this edition and not the others because I felt like this had some added features now i don't remember the exact details because it was four years ago and um but i will include all the links i can to help you kind of figure out which one to choose now there's another uh company it's a popular company which publishes books for uh schools here um the hewton mifflin company uh they have a curriculum called as math in focus and that one is also based off of the Singapore math. Um, so it's not by the same company, Singapore math, but by a different company, but you can look it up, math in focus. So that one has detailed instructions and a lot of hand holding, And you know, like it's just the, the teaching manual itself intimidated me. And I tried using it like three years ago and I, I just, I just couldn't get over the size of the teaching manual and I just ended up returning that. I'm pretty happy with this one. How is this laid out? It is divided into a textbook and a workbook for each semester. So your semester one will have a textbook, a workbook and a teaching guide. A teaching manual or the home instructor's guide uh, will give you like you know tips on how to introduce a topic a lesson and how to go about teaching it how to use the teaching aids and the hands-on materials to introduce a concept and it also has um, at the end of the teaching manual is a section called as mental math which gives you um, you know sheets to do drills with the child and uh, help them with the mental math there is a lot of emphasis on the mental math and uh, it's just a different format um, for teaching math so i would say that's important so that's the teaching guide now i know that they have something called as a home instructor's guide and they also sell something called as a teacher's manual the home instructor's guide is more suitable for home use and the teaching you know the teacher's manual is more for the classroom use so i would say that prefer buying the home instructor's manual or the home instructor's guide. so the that's for one semester so one home instructor's guide one textbook and work, workbook now let me show you what the textbook looks like now this one we've been using so i won't show you this one i will show you the next semester's book so again, that semester, this was semester one, three books. That gives you an idea how big the books are. And semester two, textbook, workbook, and the teaching guide again. So let's take a look at the books now. This is the textbook. So it's nice, colorful, and you know you introduce a concept and the teacher's guide will generally tell you how to how to open up a chapter it gives you suggestions for games and how you can do things other than the textbook so you use that and then uh, you go through the lesson and once you teach a concept there's some practice problems even here but every time you finish a section there is a, a little pen mark like this 
which tells you which workbook pages to do right after this. So the way I do it is we do a couple of textbook pages and based on what workbook pages go with them, I assign those to my son and you know he does it independently. Sometimes I would even assign the textbook pages because it's very simple. Uh, not everything requires teaching. Because like I said, you know, we use other curriculums. So sometimes I don't even have to teach him the concept. He already knows it uh, because of this other curriculum that I use. It's a nice colorful book with lots of pictures and easy explanations. Sometimes, you know, with a the concept, they will even lay out the actual steps that you have to follow. And then every couple of lessons, there are review pages like this one. So this is a review page, which would review like the last few concepts that they have covered. And there'll be like a ton of problems. Even in the textbook itself, there's like a ton of problems that you go through. So the days when we do review, I, I may not even ask him to do any workbook pages or anything other than, you know, this, because that ends up being a lot of work. So that's the textbook. The workbook looks like a plain black and white. It's really nicely laid out. The space provided for writing your answers and, you know, it has word problems, it has regular problems, and it has everything that you can ask for in a math curriculum. I mean, there's nothing lacking in this. It's pretty straightforward and user-friendly. So that's how it's laid out. It's like match the columns, word problems, uh, picture representations on which you have to solve, fill in the colors. It's like puzzle format. It's it's pretty standard. I don't. I wouldn't say this is extraordinary. This is this gets the job done. Uh, it's that kind of a curriculum. Okay, so I did want to talk a little bit in detail about the teaching manual or the home instructor's guide, because. Um, this is not like one of those curriculums which have like, you know, like a day by day detailed lesson plan which are scripted and we, which exactly tell you what to do. Um, and, you know, it's divided well to finish in 36 weeks of the school year. Uh, week one, day one, do this, day two, do this, you know, you know, those kind of curricula. This is not like that. It's it does not give you guidance on that aspect. And I know that a lot of people have a problem with that, but I wanted to show something that can help you make your own lesson plan. So I can pull it closer and show you. You can like see up here that within a chapter, you can have subunits. So like the one, the chapter three has yards, feet and inches. It has four or five, no, it has four sub chapters. And then there is another sub chapter called as practice. That's just for practice. Okay. So these sub categories, you can divide that into your lesson, daily lessons. And you can see how many pages of the textbook you would be covering, how many workbook pages go with it and which teaching guide pages go with it. So if you look up here, you can see on the top that this column stands for the textbook, workbook, and the guide. So, so every sub chapter, it will tell you exactly which textbook okay. pages and the guide pages that go with that chapter. Also, you might notice that after the sub chapters are over, there is something uh, written here like extra practice, the pages for that and the tests. So these two are actually supplemental books that you can buy in addition to the textbook and the workbook. So the extra practice, wherever you see extra practice at the tests, that's not something that you will find here. That's actually an additional resource that you can use to supplement this curriculum. I think with every edition, there's a different set of books like extra practice. Then I think there's something called as intensive practice. And there's a book called as challenging word problems. Like these are the additional books that you can um, use along with this main textbook workbook and the teaching guide but these three things are essential those are the extras so it will even tell you exactly how that extra so now, will fit in. you can use this to divide your uh, schedule over the year because it's it does that for the entire school year 
so what i typically do is before a semester begins i will go through all the uh, lessons that we have to cover cover for that um for that uh, semester and i'll also count how many sub sub chapters do we have and then divide that uh, based on the number of days we would be schooling for that semester and then it tells you what manipulatives you need for that for that semester so right up front you would know what exactly do you need to supplement and play the games and you know do the extra things to facilitate the learning they also have um, you know these cards that they recommend making and they actually have like a like a template like a you know they have these printed and you can just print these on a cardstock and cut them out and like make it ahead of your semester and they're good for the for the whole you know semester so that's really neat and they have like number lines and grids and everything and you can print these out and you know keep them handy so whatever you need for that entire semester it's laid out here in the beginning now each of the lessons are introduced like this so they will tell you what is your objective for that lesson so like unit one chapter one these this is the objective uh what are the terms what is the vocabulary which is going to be used then notes for the teacher how you can you know teach the lesson then they kind of tell you how you introduce the topic so then you see how these are like subcategories like i mentioned so this is the first subcategory so then you would go through this so if you divided your lessons in a way that you're going to do one subcategory uh, each week then you know exactly which pages to open up and i use these little page markers uh, that you get I think they are sold everywhere so I use these page markers to kind of keep track of where I am uh, instead of putting it all in the so lesson planner that was like an inside look see how the subcategories go so they will tell you exactly these are the pages from the textbook this, these are the pages from the workbook or whatever you know these are the tasks that you're going to do and they also tell you the answer so this is really nice they tell you what activities, what workbook pages go with it and how do you reinforce it? How do you do extra enrichment for this lesson? So it really takes care of the entire lesson. Like it, if you need like instructions, it's here. It's there for you. You don't really need to, uh, you know, have anything else. I guess it's important to have a teaching guide which can tell you exactly how they're approaching the, the math because it's definitely different from the math uh, found in the textbooks here they also have like answers to the mental math pages so when you're doing it orally with your child you don't have to just look at the questions you can just look from here and kind of help you quickly check it this is the number chart which you can photocopy and use um, these are the again math multiplication charts that you can do for extra practice so um sometimes what i do is i um i would print this off and uh keep it in a separate binder kind of like this let me show you what i what i do with it so something like this so then as we work through the sheets uh we just move them from here to here so like my son i would assign him like a couple of mental math pages and uh, he just works through it and then moves it to the left some days uh, just to avoid you know if i see that he already has a lot of written problem solving to do on that day then i would do it orally and you know have him just tell me the answers instead of have him write them down but this kind of arrangement really has i have the entire set and i can check it at a later time if i if i don't want to sit down and do it with him and uh, it really works out well so that's how i organize it and do it so that's about it from the teaching manual this is uh, the extra supplement it's called as the challenging word problems this is just one of the supplemental books that you can buy I had bought this when he was in second grade because I thought maybe this would be helpful and uh, to be honest with you he does not have a 
any real issue with word problems so i think we stopped using it halfway through because it just became like one more chore to complete and um, i don't like busy work if if i feel that he knows uh, the a skill i won't make him do it just because you know we have to get through a book so i stopped using we it. uh participate in like math contests and stuff and we end up we do end up doing a lot of word problems a specific I time have of the seen year. in the uh, you know on forums where people discuss about curricula that uh, a lot of people recommend using challenging word problems along with these uh, textbook and the workbook this is highly recommended by a lot of so, people um um yeah it is it is a good resource and, definitely uh, this is a robust curriculum it's it's very it's a complete curriculum and it really builds math skills i'm very happy with it so i do hope that this was beneficial Thank you for watching